Hello everybody, alright we're back with this uh, dodgy toilet so I'm having a go at plan A which was as you can see I've undone the tank and I've slid it over to the side doesn't seem to want to drop any more than that uh, oh, I can see it's in the uh, piece of wood at the bottom there so I was trying to slide it over to the right but I think because the pipe's there it wasn't having that so I can get my hand down near that nut so hopefully I can get down and undo it uh, the dodgy bit is probably when I take the thing out the nut's probably going to fall all the way down there and getting it back up and started might be tricky I can only just barely get my finger where it is so uh, not going to be easy but Let's give it a go and see how we get on. Obviously I can't film it because I can only just about fit my arms in here myself, but let's go for it, see how it works out. Alright, I managed to get the tank out. Only just fits out fits out that hole. So we shall take this bottom section out and see how how bad the uh the gasket actually was in there. I suspect it's not in very good condition. So getting it out was tricky enough and uh, getting it back in I suspect will be even trickier. spin and I'll have to stop for now I need both hands for this. Right I've got that out so I've just had a look at the bottom of the tank no sign of any hairline cracks in there and I will clean it all up. Now you can see there put up some silicon in here not quite sure I think whether they put that on top of the rubber it looks like they probably did. Uh, the rubber itself don't look in too bad a condition I'm suspecting the error with this might just be a case of the plumber didn't do that not particularly well. Uh, I've got new washers with the uh, the new ones that come so I get a new washer on this get it clamped back in good and tight this time round so the tricky bit is going to be getting the uh, the pipe connected back up to the bottom of this once I put that tank back in there because it really is I can only just about get my hands on it so that's probably going to be the tricky bit but fingers crossed I can do it I'll give this a good clean out first get the new washer on it and at least I'll be able to check it before I put it back in I can fill it up with water and make sure it's not leaking right crack on right situation is I put the new washer on the tank been downstairs filled it up in the big sink no water leaking from it so it definitely appears to be a case of it just hadn't been done up tight enough the other possibility is if you look on the actual pipe there's another rubber seal on that possibility that could be gone but i say it was really loose on the main fitting so i think it's just a case of the plumber didn't do that up very tight so that's a pain in the ass so i've got that okay the bit i'm struggling with now is getting that pipe back in there and done up that's going to be the awkward bit I can't lay the tank down flat like that as I'm trying to do it's got to be up at an angle so I can't actually see the knot so I thought I'd got it on but it wasn't quite there but I've got 10 minutes till I knock off my shift tonight so I'm going to get all the tools put away and I'll attack it again tomorrow night and hopefully get it back on fingers crossed alright that'll do me for one night catch you later right people it's round two <laughs> Quiet at school again now, all the kids are long gone, so set an attempt at getting this back on. I'm really hoping I can. Save a lot of hassle not having to cut a hole in this bloody wall. It's a pity this wall's so close, if I could actually bloody lean in there a bit, instead of the bloody wall being that close, then it would be a lot easier. But I'll just have to see what I can do. Fingers crossed. 
Okay, everybody, against the odds, I do believe I've managed to get that point back on and tight enough that hopefully nothing is going to leak. Uh, I have literally just about got that done, literally with the tips of my fingers. That tank, when it's on its side, was just literally half an inch lower, then I definitely wouldn't have been able to do it. So, time to cross the fingers and hope nothing is leaking. Just trying to see now, well, I can see with the light, I can see part of the soil point and I can't see nothing. Hang on. We'll stick you guys down there. Try not to drop my bloody phone. Try and see oh. if anything is leaking. First impressions are looking promising. Connect the button back up. I've seen this in other videos to put these buttons back on there. Cables back on the end of the button. You just press that in and then slot it onto the little, the little pin. There you go, simple as that. I shall play that back to myself and fingers crossed there is no water leaking and this little bit of a nightmare job is done without the, the expense of calling a plumber out. Right, I'll have a little check, see how we're looking. Hi right, everybody, I just played that video clip back to myself when I stuck you under the tank and as you will have seen, bloody annoying just the tiniest little leak on that. I bet I probably just got to get another quarter of a bloody turn on that that nut so that's bloody annoying I was trying not to over tighten it being I couldn't see under there so I was thinking don't over tighten it and strip the thread but it obviously needs another quarter of a turn so back off with a bloody tank and see if I can get on that and give it just that little bit of a nip up right, hopefully that rubber's not not split that's on it well, it is going to be a case of uh, putting a hole in this wall to get to it. But let's drop that back down, see if I can just get another quarter of a turn on that nut. It might just do the trick. Alright, here we go again. Alright, I think I managed to get a couple of little turns on that. It's really hard to tell because it's not like a proper nut on them. It's just a circle with a few indentations on it to get your grips on. So when you're doing it, it's hard to tell whether you've actually got hold of the nut or whether you're just gripping the pipe itself, but I'm pretty sure I did get a couple of little turns on it. So I'll stuff you back down there and flush it. So the actual main fitting in the bottom of the tank is obviously okay because it only started leaking during the flush. So I know that's in nice and secure. So let's stick you back down there and flush it. Everybody cross your fingers. Right, check down again. Please don't be leaking, you bastard. Okay, yippee. No water trickling out that time, so them last couple of little turns on that have done the job, so thank God for that. That would have been a real pain in the arse if we'd had to cut a whole bloody hole in this wall 
just to be able to do that up properly or potentially have to change that little seal but no, definitely nothing came out of that time and that was with two flushes so job done get this panel back on we can knock that one off the list so if you have any of these concealed systems in your properties this day might come around for you all right, that's all from me till next time